Welcome to DIY Easy Crafts and BergKnifeMaking.com. How to make burlap micarta. Now this particular video actually started out making a, a different type of burlap micarta, uh, but this is actually what I ended up with. So the original plan was to make burlap micarta that was a little bit different uh, than the standard. Um, what I did was I took pieces of burlap and I dyed them uh, dark brown, uh, like a reddish brown, and I left some natural. I dyed them with wood stain and I let them dry completely before I started to make the micarta. Now I've made several videos on micarta. I use fiberglass resin. Um, I set up my press um, on top of a board which is on top of a garbage can. I use a paintbrush to completely saturate each uh, piece of burlap or, or paper, whatever type of micarta I'm making, and then I press it. I place it uh, into the press. Um, the press has been pre-lined with parchment paper uh, so that that, that fiberglass uh, impregnated burlap is not going to stick to anything. I am wearing uh, gloves on both hands, but really it's just the left hand that gets fiberglass on it, fiberglass resin on it. The other hand typically stays pretty clean. Now, I put darker pieces of burlap uh, in the press first, and then I used uh, small, lighter pieces mixed in with some from variations of sizes and colors as the top layer. Um, and the thought here was that I was going to be able to see uh, through the top layer, especially as I ground uh, the shape of the knife handles, and see some of those uh, darker pieces on the bottom. That was the concept anyway. Didn't didn't actually work out uh, to my liking, but you'll you'll see why, and you'll I'll tell you exactly what I did to correct the situation, or at least salvage uh, salvage the knife I was working on. So once I have all of the small uh, pieces uh, into that micarta press, I'm gonna remove my wet glove. I'm gonna wrap up that micarta in the parchment paper. I'll, press, I'll, I'll wrap it up in the parchment paper and then I'll actually put it right back into the press. Now my press is just made up of a couple of short pieces of 4x4 four four, uh, screwed onto a piece of pine. I turn the press sideways. and I do this so that once I clamp it together, all of the excess fiberglass resin um, that's going to be squeezed out will end up being squeezed out into the garbage can uh, which the board is is resting on. I use four clamps. You want to make sure that you clamp evenly so that you know both sides have an equal distance or, or thickness to them. So this way your your micarta ends up being relatively flat. After the fiberglass resin, resin hardens, which takes a few hours, you can remove the micarta from the press. The parchment paper usually comes off pretty easily. And I gotta say, at this point, I was pretty impressed with what this patchwork burlap micarta was going to look like. I mean, in my mind, that's gonna look really nice as knife handles. You see all the different colors or different colored burlap. Anyway, I started the process. This particular knife is a small uh, AEBL stainless steel uh, blade. Um, I decided to use removable scales. I had done this once before. My friend Steve Graham told me how to do it. and I, I really just like the way that the black cap screws are going to end up looking with the micarta handles. Otherwise, I would normally glue these, these um, scales in place onto uh, the, the knife blank and pin them. But for this particular knife, uh, I use removable hardware, and I'm very happy I did so. Um, I usually round over uh, the, the top edge of my scales uh, with them in place on the blade. I also finish the profile uh, you know, of the handle material and match it up perfectly with the blade. I'm not going to show you the entire process of, of, of shaping these scales, but this Macarta basically shapes like, like wood does. It sands 
pretty easily. Uh, it's easy to cut. It's easy to shape. And it's fairly easy to, or it should be fairly easy to polish. So I also use a sander uh, just to round over uh, the inner edge or the inner corner. I'll make this so that it's uh, comfortable in my hand. And then I will hand sand. Now at this point I am realizing that I'm not real happy with the profile of the blade itself. Um, and also I think I came up a little bit short when I was um, grinding the bevels. I, sh I should have moved the bevels back a little bit so the blade was a little bit longer. Um, but in my mind, that's all fixable. These are removable scales. Uh, so after I finish the scales, the, the burlap micarta, I'll just remove them from the blade and I'll regrind those bevels and then just put the whole thing back together again. See, at this point, I'm really happy with the, with the scales. I think that once polished, they're really going to pop. They're really going to look nice. Now I use a felt belt on the 2x72 grinder. Um, my grinder is a Origin Blade Maker uh, 2x72. It has a two horsepower motor, uh, variable speed. I use a little bit of compound on a, a felt belt to do the majority of the polishing. And then after I get the majority of it done, because it, it, it does polish very quickly on this belt, uh, then I will move over to a buffing machine uh, and just get some of the some of the rounded areas that are hard to get on a flat uh, or on a felt belt on a flat platen. And here's where, you know, basically this project fell apart. Um, the micarta, the burlap micarta just did not polish as all previous burlap micartas had. And I was not really happy with the, with the end result. The colors look good. But it's almost as if the fiberglass resin didn't completely impregnate into the, the fibers of the burlap. Uh, so it was a, it's a very coarse grit, and you can almost feel the fibers. You can see the fiberglass, the fibers, you know, through the resin. Um, and just just was not happy with them. Um, and I figured out what the problem was. I think when I stained the burlap, that a dried wood stain prevented the fiberglass resin from really getting uh, into the burlap fibers. So basically, I redid the entire handle making project and I just eliminated dyeing uh, the burlap in different colors. While I had the knife apart, I did uh, you know, regrind the bevels back a little bit and reprofiled the blade to my liking. <laughs> I'm not going to show you or, or duplicate the whole um, micarta again because it's, it's the exact same process. The only thing that I did different was I did not uh, take the time to use wood stain and stain uh, the darker pieces of the burlap. I just used all of uh, the tan original colored uh, burlap for this project. Uh, and the only thing I did different than standard burlap micarta was use small pieces that were um, you know laid on top of larger pieces. And this way I, I would get a variety of different shapes uh, in the finished product and I could still see you know, some of the fibers and, and some of the texture uh, inside, which is what I was really looking for. Now once the handles are done and polished, assemble, assembly uh, with this um, removable knife scale hardware is pretty simple. It's got a threaded spacer that goes through the tang and then each uh, scale is held in place, in this case, with uh, black cap screws. These are 832 uh, by quarter inch long cap screws. And this is now uh, basically the finished knife. I think this one I, I still has to be sharpened, but other, other than that it's finished. Much happier uh, with the profile of the blade itself. And absolutely, absolutely happy with the burlap micarta handles that that we ended up with. So I'm sorry for, about all the confusion with this particular video and um, you know anybody that's watched some of my videos you realize that I do like to experiment with different things. Uh, this was just one experiment which did not work out um, but 
you know, in hindsight, I, I did end up with a nice knife out of it. I just went back to, you know, something that was more well known. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, I, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I invite you to join us on our uh, Facebook group, Knives and Knife Making. Uh, by all means, check out my knives on uh, www.bergknifemaking.com. And also check out uh, our book. Uh, Jason Northgard and I uh, put it out last year called Introduction to Knife Making. And that's available on Amazon.com. Thank you very much.